recreating some beautiful fall looks and what I'm getting up to in Europe. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. One of my favorite videos to do is to recreate some beautiful outfits that I saw on Pinterest. If you're not new here, you know that when we do this, that we always must consider our debt and I like to give different options for different styles. So the first look that I want to look at is so modern and sleek and I love that it's all black. The shape of the skirt and the blazer together that is kind of tucked in and that the skirt flares out. I love everything about this. It's very sleek and modern and very on trend even though this is a fairly old picture. And you guys, the best part about this is that it's easy to recreate. So of course you can go with something that has a similar shape like this one from Bloomingdale's or this one from J. Crew. But also, if you don't like that shape and you want something a little more sleek, this one from Moda Operandi works very well. And if you wanna try something very different but give a very similar vibe, this one from ALC will do the trick. And because this blazer is very on trend right now, you could find it very easily. Someplace like Dish, even H&M, and I believe I saw one at Bergdorf's all very easy to find because it's so on trend right now these shield kind of aviator sunglasses are not hard to find i found some very easily these are from revolve and these are from versace via farfetch find some beautiful cap toe pointy toe heels which is very easy to find any of these will do put it all together and you have yourself a look this lady is going but once she gets there she is going to be owning the room okay I've seen this picture several times on Pinterest and I cannot let it pass me again this is such a cute outfit in my opinion and luckily for me and for you it's pretty easily recreatable right now because suiting is such a big trend i was able to find a very similar outfit this whole look from alice and olivia is just absolutely perfect it's definitely a different color but i actually love this color even more it is so good this look from madewell though it is a skirt give you a very similar vibe and this whole Banana Republic outfit is such a good one-to-one -one match. It's three pieces, it's plaid, it's a similar shape. This is probably the closest option. And as far as the hat goes, you could go from anywhere from Gigi Pip to Ruslan Baginski, where we know is good quality and would look perfect, perfect with this outfit. And because this oversized kind of slouchy bag is very on trend, also extremely easy to find, you can buy one from Coach, Perenza Schooler, even Banana Republic. These boots from Staud, J. Crew, or Dulce Vita, a very similar vibe to what she's wearing. So we've talked a lot about the cropped blazer and they are everywhere. What I found that I think would work best from this outfit are these two from Free People. They're very similar, they are the same price, but they are shaped a bit differently. This one is a little longer in the front and can be cinched at the waist in the back, which I really appreciate. And this one is a bit shorter, different material, but will still work with this look. And I mean, at this point, black cargo pants are super easy to find. You can get these from ASOS, these from ALC, and even these from Zara. If you are not new here, you know that I am not the biggest fan of cargo. I like them with other people, but they just don't look right on me. I don't feel like myself. However, 
this outfit is so sleek so clean and just like it makes me change my mind about the whole cargo trend i love everything about this and i felt like i just had to say this because sometimes we just totally disregard something because it's not something that we are drawn to but when styled like this and cut like this i just i i love this this is absolutely gorgeous to me and i would a hundred percent wear this this is already your style. It's very possible that you already have a combat boot. Sam Edelman's, by the way, of Bloomingdale's, or even these Pradas if you want to spend a little bit more money to get a designer pair. Throw on your coolest, sleekest black sunglasses and you're ready to go. This outfit, very obviously, is for the girl who's not afraid of a little drama. <laughs> the different colors of pink, the feathers, the pockets. I think she pulls it off very well, and if this is your style, it is very easy to recreate. These from Farfetch, these from Rival, or even these from Mango will give you a very similar vibe. This from Zara, which I've spoken about before, unless you already have the original one um, that was longer, and if this is your style, it's very probable that you already have it. This bustier from Farfetch, and this one from Revolve would do the trick and really bring this whole outfit together. These from Revolve, these from ASOS, and even these from Essence will give you a very similar vibe. I love that this whole outfit is just very chill and monochromatic and then when you pan down she has this beautiful bright pink shoe that just pops and in my opinion kind of brings everything to a different level right because imagine if she had on sneakers like a pair of white sneakers it would still be a cute little outfit but this just brings it in another direction luckily if this is your style a pinstriped blazer is extremely easy to find at this point because it's very much on trend and this one from Bloomingdale's and this one from ASOS would bring everything together and you would have the start of your look let's be for real you have a white button down you don't need a new one <laughs> but if you don't any of these will do and since again this white over the shoulder or under your shoulder bag is very much on trend it's extremely easy to find you could try this one from coach this one from mango and this one for diesel will all do the trick throw on your yankee fitted your coolest sunglasses your pink heels that we saw from the last outfit and you're out the door like I had to add this I have two that I have to add but I felt like I had to add this simply because of the color combination the pink and the orange together are so good I think it's very interesting to wear this color or these type of colors during the fall and the winter because most of us are wearing black and burgundy but if you're the person that sticks out with this pink and the orange which is usually like a spring summer color you're doing something right right I actually love this combination these shoes are from the Attico. Um, those pants I don't remember but I know I'm going to link them in the description box that coat is from Naked Fashion and that cute little purse is from Tory Burch so what you're not going to do is act like my good sis here did not eat this whole entire look. It is so interesting to me because it is such a simple look, right? It's just a black suit with a black coat laid on top of her shoulders. But what makes this is the accessories. The hat is very easy to find. Something we could get from Gigi Pip or um, Lack of Color. And then even the suit is something easy to find. If you are a person that is in need of extended sizes, I found them all over the place. So there's not a hard thing to find. But when doing your debt, one of the details that I think is important to recreate this outfit is the belt. I found this belt from Anthropology, right? But it's not as dramatic as the one that she's wearing. And I'm trying to figure out if she is wearing two. If she's not wearing two, <laughs> you can definitely do so. Imagine layering these two belts 
and it will give you a very similar vibe. The thing she's wearing, this is really a standout piece to the outfit, um, besides the hat and the belt, are these statement earrings. And these silver ones from Mango I have and are gorgeous. And then these gold ones are from also from Mango. <laughs> <laughs> and they are absolutely fabulous. So really in this day and age, fashion houses or some fashion houses aren't doing real fur. And faux fur right now is right now is what a lot of the fashion kind of people are doing. Whether you agree with that stance or not, there's one thing we can agree on is that sometimes faux fur looks cheap. This one, in my opinion, does not. I probably, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm probably gonna order it to see it in real life. <laughs> but I've always wanted this type of fox kind of fur. And I, I prefer it to be vintage, but I've been looking for years and I can't find one that I actually love. I want it to look like this, but be vintage fox. So we'll see, but I'm gonna order this and I will let you guys know how that works out. A very similar type of vibe, but not exactly the same coat from Mango. This one um, must be from their um, expensive line, cause child, this was not cheap. It is a beautiful coat, but let me tell you something. <laughs> it cost, it definitely cost. And hopefully it is worth the price. I am not gonna order this, but if I have a chance to see it in store or something, I will let you guys know. But I did wanna bring it to your attention because it's looking like Mango is really stepping up their game and having um, separate lines, a, a more affordable line and apparently a more expensive line. So I'm very curious to see where that goes and how that ends up. Sticking with Mango, these two are dupes of that famous totem jacket. If you got the short one from last year, but you really wanted the long one and you don't want to spend um, all that money on the totem one, I feel like these are good dupes. It comes in two different colors and they look very much on trend. Speaking of dupes, these Sam Edelman ankle cowboy boots look very much like the Kate ones. The Kate ones have a smaller heel and if I'm honest, I wish that these Sam Edelman ones had a, a bit of a smaller heel but they are also very cute. I don't think that heel honestly is too high. Um, I just feel like a lower heel you can wear for longer during the day. But in my opinion, they're not a bad dupe. And then the statement earrings that are just everywhere, again, very much on trend. The top right ones are from Mango that I ordered about a week and a half ago. So hopefully they come soon. The bottom silver ones also come in gold and those are from Anthropology. The top right, again, are from Anthropology. Apology, so good and the bottom gold ones from the left on the left are mango love them all so I have been loving a good bucket bag it's very much on trend and I've been telling you guys for a very long time at nauseam that bucket bags and bigger bags are in I actually got the Madewell one um, this week in black I love it in brown too but I really needed a black um, big bag and the leather is so good for this price what I really wanted to talk about was this Louis Vuitton bag I have been considering getting this vintage bag I I have been on a vintage bag kick and I would like to know if anyone has any information about this do you have the bag is it comfortable um, is it too big let me know the deets because that is on my radar sticking with the bucket bags this one from Banana Republic is over a hundred dollars off this particular color and these I am kind of on the fence about and have mixed feelings because I feel like if you're gonna get a heel that is this low you might as well get a flat boot right but I also feel like it's a heel that's comfortable. <laughs> Let me know how you feel about these little kitten heel boots and if they're comfortable or they're chic or they're just silly. Let me know. So I have talked about Spanx jeans before and they have come out with so many new things. I love these wide leg pants on the left. I feel like my problem with wide leg pants is that it makes me feel, um, it doesn't make me feel good. I feel like I feel wider in them. Um, and I feel like with the Spanx jeans that I do have, it kind of sucks me in. So I'm hoping that with these particular jeans, they suck me in, but also give me that wide leg vibe. So we shall see. I keep forgetting about Theory Outlet. This is $126 on Theory Outlet and was like a five 
five or six times more um, the retail price. So this is a great vibe um, or a great steal, excuse me, for the vibes that are going on now. Pinstripes are very in, business core are, is very in. So anyway, sis, that's what I found this week. Let me know if you shopped this week, what you're looking for, or if you found anything special. So, if you watched this vlog, you know that I went to Citra 21 and left almost immediately because it was just too crazy. Well, I take everything back that I said about Century 21. I just went in there and this is what I found. So last time I was in Century 21, they did not have the sunglasses together. It was maybe a hundred pair of sunglasses and I was just not impressed. But now they have so many pairs of decent brands. Like I was, I was actually shocked. Now they're not going to be current season. It is Century 21, but they did have like Tom Ford and Celine and Loewe. And as usual, I had fun trying on just glasses. If you not new here you know that i love a good pair of sunglasses these were hilarious <laughs> and yes they had gucci they just had they had a lot and i was very much impressed and then i walked up to a sales associate and was like please direct me to the shoe department <laughs> and i was not disappointed they had everything from designer shoes to shoes from Schutz. It was just massive and there were so many good things that I could have bought and for decent prices. Now, of course the designer shoes were still expensive, but they were significantly cheaper, significantly cheaper than what they usually are. my way all the way upstairs to the women's apartment and I saw a few things that were good but then I laid my eyes on this coat and I said I have to try it on and you guys look how this coat can you can I even I just <laughs> I kept that coat on and walked around the store for a while I just felt so fabulous in it shoe section was bigger than what it used to be it was way more organized sorry about the sound I'm downtown is you're gonna hear noise it was cleaner it was more organized y'all saw that coat not that I need another coat they just had better things and I am a little annoyed that I missed out for so many months also I met one of us and it was always great to meet one of you guys I like to like put faces to people that are watching me like you know me but I don't know you I don't know your face and every time I meet one of you all I'm doing something silly and thank the Lord this time I was acting normal last time I met one of you all I was dancing around to a Michael Jackson song I, I, I was embarrassed okay but this time it was normal and it's always a pleasure to meet you guys if you ever see me on the street please come say hi so anyway since i'm over here i'm going to go to cause and and other stories there was this coat that i wanted to try on when i was in europe or that i wanted to buy when i was in europe and then i just said i'll buy it when i get home and then when i got home it was a lot more expensive and i should have known better but i'm going to go try it on to see if i need it might be a bit chunky for you but I'm gonna tell you the leather is outstanding if you were looking at them you would love them and this bag is a Gucci dupe pretty cool if you were into that that I came to try on. I 
love this coat. It is so sleek and just minimal but gorgeous. The, the shoulders are everything. I don't know why I didn't get it. I'm going back this week to get it. And then it has the audacity to come in brown. No, I have to have that. I absolutely have to have that coat. So if you know anything about France, um, Paris specifically, you know that their pharmacies are well known for having some of the best skincare, etc. Um, just at what we would have at a Duane Reed. The last time that I was in Paris, which was in this video, I went to City Pharma. And I'm going to tell you guys, I 100% do not recommend City Pharma. I think that a French pharmacy is a great place to get some good essentials, but City Pharma was just madness. It's a space that has a lot of products. The people there are very, very helpful. However, the customers are just disgusting okay i was getting pushed people were standing in front of products it was just a it was just a mess i would never go back to city pharma in my opinion there are plenty of pharmacies around paris that you can go to but i think city pharma is just really a tourist trap so with that being said i felt rushed i was a bit overwhelmed and i feel like i got some very <laughs> random things just because i wanted to get some things while i was there i had a list but i couldn't stick to it mainly because i just couldn't get around it was i can't even explain to you how packed it was so i got what i could and it just ended up being very very random so let me show you what i got one thing that i did want is this la rose prose sunscreen i'm a big fan of this brand and i actually got the last two when i'm telling you people were pushing and and prodding and yelling it was just absolutely insane and i wasn't about to do all that child i'll just come back home and buy some stuff at home but i was glad to get this for a decent price i do love this brand i have however have never tried their sunscreen so I was able to get two I am excited to try it let me know if you ever tried this or how you feel about this brand this brand really has not done me wrong yet so I am happy to have this correct me if I'm wrong I know a lot of you have a lot of information but there was something about um, sunscreen in Europe and in Asia being better than the sunscreen we have here for many reasons, but I don't remember exactly what it was. I'm sure many of you could give me the answer to that. But anyway, I'm just glad to have this sunscreen. And staying with La Rose Pose, there were so many products and they were so cheap in comparison to what we pay here in the States, but it, <laughs> I couldn't even get to it. The La Rose Pose um, shelf and section, excuse me, in particular, was packed. I mean, people with pages of lists just sitting, standing right in front of the products and wouldn't let anybody else get past. So this is what I could get. <laughs> this is the B5 um, Balm, and this is very good for dry um, and cracked areas of your skin. I know some people use this on their skin, on their face. I don't think I will. I feel like I want to use this on my heels because my heels of my feet get very dry um, and certain little dry patches in my body i am very excited to try this i haven't tried any of this so i'm excited to try this um and yeah la rose Prose, like i said is one of my favorite like quote-unquote affordable brands and look how small this is I, I hope that a little bit goes a long way because it's so small we shall see i will let you know i do believe we could get this in the states it's just going to be a little more expensive so when you look up the things that you should get at a French pharmacy, they always talk about the A13 cream. And I had the A13 cream many years ago, and if I'm honest with you, it didn't really do much. And I'm honestly really concerned or confused um, as to why people love it so much. It did not, it did nothing for me almost. It was it's kind of the strangest thing. But anyway, in, in its place, I was told to try these 
two things. Again, like I said, the people that work there were very helpful. I could barely talk to anybody, but this is what they suggested. I do not know how to pronounce it properly. And of course, everything is in French, but I do see that it's anti-aging, <laughs> which I will take. I also believe this means hyaluronic acid. That means that it is moisturizing and I'm excited to try this. I don't know if we can get this in the States. Um, I'm pretty sure you can, but ex again, it'll be more expensive. This looks like a moisturizer because it says hyaluronic acid and anti-aging. And this looks like um, a retinol or a retinol-like um, a retinol -like product because I, I see retinol on here. So I'm kind of excited to try these. There are directions on their website of how to use these. I'm sure this is the retinol and hopefully this is the moisturizer. I'm going to look it up before I just dive in, you guys. I'm just trying to show you what I got because like I said, it was madness, but this hopefully works better than the A313. Um, and like I said, if not, I will just go back to what I usually use, but yeah, we'll see what happens here. So yes, we have this toothpaste at home. We have this, <laughs> we have this in the United States. It is cheaper, a bit cheaper in France, but honestly, I got it because I was panicked. I told you it was crazy in there. So this is the Marvin's Whitening Mint. They have different flavors. This is just, which is just strange. I know, but look how pretty that is, right? I like everything around me to be a little pretty and I really like how this toothpaste looks. I hope it works well. <laughs> I'm over here worried about the look of it. I hope it works well. So that was mint. And this one is, this is also mint, but sensitive mint. I, I don't know what the difference is. I guess for sensitive tea. But I got it. I'm be honest with you guys. I got it because it was pink. Okay, sue me. I got it because it was pink. And you know why not? It. I was there. I was freaking out. And they're cute. I see this a lot on like Pinterest um, and TikTok when people go for that aesthetic look. So we'll see. It was there. It was inexpensive. I said, why not? Let's try it. This is one of those things that when you look up French pharmacy they tell you that you have to get. It was inexpensive and I'm gonna be honest with you, I am not 100% sure of how to use it. I will not be using it on my face um, because I don't think you're supposed to, but everyone talks about Biafine and how it's just something good to have um, in your bathroom, in your medicine cabinet for cuts and scrapes and other things. And apparently it's a really big thing in France and all um, the households have it. I, however, have never heard of it um, until recently. And it's something that I'm just going to try out again. You guys, like I said, it was crazy in there. <laughs> I was just picking up anything. So I'll let you know how that works. And you absolutely cannot go to a French pharmacy and not get some nukes oil. These were considerably cheaper in France than they are in at home. Cause I've seen them at home. This bottle at home could be upwards of 25 or $30. These were like 12 and the big one, um, these are a smaller size and the big one might've been 20 if I, if I remember correctly, but I got two small sizes. This smells more like, um, smells a little more fruity in my opinion. And this one reminds me of summer for some reason. So if you've never heard of these, these are an all over body, hair, face, skin, everything. And apparently it has a cult following in France. So I said, let me just try it. Like I said, I've seen this at home for much more expensive and two for less than the price of one at home. I, I think, I think I'll be all right, even if I don't like it, but we shall see. People love this stuff, so hopefully I do too. And last but not least, this is from the same brand. Um, and this is just a, this is just so cute. It's just a lip balm and it smells like oranges. Hmm. And I have to say that I, I've used it because I love a good moisturizing lip balm and this does the trick. If you don't like orange or the smell of it, this is not for you because it smells very much like it, but it's very moisturizing. It's like, it's just easy to put on. So I'm happy I got this as well. So anyway, guys, this is what I got. Like I said, do not go to City Pharma. There are so many other pharmacies that you could go to in Paris that will not be insane. It was absolute madness in City Pharma. Going to the pharmacy in Paris is definitely worth it. They are everywhere. They're almost like um, the cafes that are everywhere in France too. So you won't have a problem finding them. They might not be as big as City Pharma. They might not have everything that is there. You will find what you need. Just go to different ones as you walk around. Anyway, this was 
a quite different haul, but this is what I got. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in my next video.